Hey guys, I thought I'd give you a quick demo of the Fire Cricket XL and my new 16 LED driver module. As you can see, the Fire Cricket XL can still control boards via I squared C. The LED module is also connected to the I squared C bus. And that's driving 16 LEDs. It can also control servos. I've got two servos hooked up over here. I can control a vibration motor and a high-powered LED uh, that's got a 15 ohm resistor on it and there's a diode on the uh, MOSFET which is driving the motor to protect from uh, reverse voltage spikes and it's got a two uh, stereo two watt uh, audio amplifier on here connected to the DAC in a mono configuration so you got four watts of total output sound and there is also a buffer here uh, to convert to 5-volt logic for a NeoPixel strip. And so now I'll uh, fire off some of the effects here so you can see what it can do. So this is the fire button. And you can see that the uh, vibration motor is triggering. That's the empty sound. And this LED here, I've got an animation uh, class set up, some code, which I can provide you with. So you can animate the LEDs. So when I switch weapons here, you'll see the uh, white LED in the middle there will uh, fade. And then when I use up all the ammo again, oh, and you also notice this, uh, this is an RGB LED that's connected to three of the outputs on the module. It's a common anode. And down here I got a bar graph to indicate uh, how many, how much ammunition you have remaining. And the RGB LED indicates the color of the, uh, the NeoPixels. So when I switch the weapon again, or when I, when I run out of ammo here, and you'll see this LED fade in again. And I'll reload. So the, uh, the I shouldn't call it a library, it's just a, uh, it's a couple classes for animating the LEDs. They have a fade in and fade out times that you can set. And, uh, you specify the number of seconds that have elapsed each frame, and uh, it will automatically animate all that for you. Now this is all being powered by a 12 volt battery over here, and there's a a, a buck converter. It's called a an SBEC in the RC community. You can find those really cheap on eBay. And down here, I'll show you the display so you can actually see it in detail. There we go. So, uh, last thing to show you is the, uh, the servos over here. So, big servo is a high torque one that moves slowly and the, the little one moves pretty quick as well. And those are being powered by, uh, 5 volts. The, uh, the pins over here along this side of the board, um, the center pin is uh, the input voltage, so VN, and that's good for the servos, and it's good for driving your NeoPixel strips. Uh, I've got the power pins for the NeoPixels connected 
to pin 11 there, which isn't being used. Uh, pin 11 is the pin that goes to the buffer. So the uh, reason that I did that is the buffer, uh, pin 11 is one of the FPI pins, and you can use DMA to transfer the data to the NeoPixels, which is normally a very processor intensive thing, but with DMA, it all happens in the background in the processor. So your sketch can run at normal speed and you can still update things like the servos and the audio and none of it conflicts with other things. Um, so I think that's about it, um, what I showed you here. Um, this is a, uh, if you get a blaster, this is a good way of uh, hooking up some LEDs for a, a bar graph in it. You can just pop them right there into the, uh, the ribbon cable. Um, other than that, I uh, can't think of much else to uh, tell you about this right now. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed it.